Okay, now let's solve this problem of expanding notation. It's really, really easy. I already made another video with an example. This is a little bit different, so let's start reading it. Polo has a miniature car. The car is 12 and 5 hundredths inches long. How is this number written in expanded notation? And then we have A, B, C, and D. Let's solve this together. First step one, it's find the keywords. It says the car is 12 and 5 hundredths inches long. Just looking at the TH, what are these boys and girls? <laughs> yes, the TH are decimals. So how is this number written in expand the notation? The strategy we're gonna use today is solving it on the ABCD option. So we have to find a number that is 12 and 5 hundredths inches long. So the number is, let's do our place value chart, 12 and 5 hundredths long. So we have decimal TH and the 5 is on top of the hundredths. So what do we put in the T? A zero, as simple as that. And here we have our ones, here we have our tens. Always when you're dealing with decimals, remember to do your place value chart. It's gonna save you like a lot of time and you're gonna be sure that you're answering each question right. So now let's go to options A. It says 12 times one. Well, I know it's 12 plus five times 0 0.1. Okay, a little trick here, you're gonna replace the 0.1 with a 5, so it's 0 0.5 equals to 12.5. Is this the answer? No, 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 this is not, so A is not it, because this is 0 0.5 tenths, and we're looking for hundredths. Now B, 12 times 1 is 12 plus 5 times 100, 500. So if you add this up, it will be 512. That is just a trick because many of the kids think that hundreds, it's 100. But remember, boys and girls, these are decimals. This is just a little trick. Now see, we have one times 10 is 10, plus two times one is two, plus five times 0 0.01. Again, replace the one with a five. 0 0.05. If you add this up, is 12 point, the decimal point, 0 0.05. So it's 12 and 500. Is this the answer? <gasps> yes, we think it is, but just in case, let's check. 12 times 1 is 12 plus 5 times 0 0.1, okay, 0 0.05 is 12.05. So, uh-oh, these two are the same, but which one is the correct answer? See, this is why you have to pay attention to detail, boys and girls. So, the difference between this is that 12 times 1 is not in expanded form because when you're using expanded form, you are breaking the number into the base 10. So it can be 10 times something, 1 times something, 100 times something, and so on, so on. And this 12, it's not broken. It should be 10 and so now I know with all my heart the C is the correct answer. So rewind this video if you need to see it again. And it's your turn! Write this number in standard form in the comment section. I cannot wait to see if you get it right. And I'm gonna give a shout out to Lakshmi. She is amazing at math and she's really trying really hard. So remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with other kids that are learning math. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.